Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm basically going to be talking about steganography and basically how to perform steganography. But before we get, but before we get into that, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support you've given me on the channel and also on my social networks. You guys have been uh, just commenting on the videos, asking your questions, even on social media, just hitting me up and just uh, just chatting with me really uh, about whatever you guys are doing and how I've helped you and how you can basically you guys also giving me tips and feedback regarding the channel uh, coming back to the channel we have actually hit 5,000 subscribers that's a huge milestone um, very very important milestone it means a lot to me and I know it means a lot to you guys for those of you who have been with me since the start when I had zero subscribers I remember so uh, just a huge thank you um Basically, uh, I've, I'm, I've, I've been going through a lot. I've been doing a lot uh, th this year, since the start of this year. I've changed basically what I wanted to, the direction I wanted to go. Not with the channel. The channel still remains the same in terms of content. But I wanted to make better quality content. So I've been setting myself up for this. And I've decided to do YouTube and basically online video production full time all right so that's basically what i've decided to do so what this means is that i'll be uploading a video or two every single day because i'm basically going to be fo focusing on my youtube channel and again you guys can contact me on my social networks if you have any questions follow me on them but the big change i've brought is i've actually created a, a platform called finer coder all right so this is the platform i've created and this is basically where i'll be teaching um uh, coding, programming, ethical hacking, pen testing, all of the stuff that I do on my on on the main channel, I'll be using this platform to teach. Now, what does this mean? Well, I've created the website uh, before like, before we actually just go into that, and the website is called finercoder.com. All right. So basically, this is a social network for ethical hackers and programmers. All right. So I wanted to create a social network where we can all interact. And, and everyone can communicate regarding what they are doing, whether they want to share stuff with us. You know, it just can just become a nice community of people who just love, you know, love what they do, which is ethical hacking. So uh, you can basically create an account. Uh, you can just go up here, basically tell you to register or log in. And once you've created an account, you can update your, your account by adding um, a profile image. You can uh, you can edit your profile and uh, basically that's it. So we have a home section, which is where you'll find uh, people uh, updating their status, maybe with whatever they're doing. As you can see, I've already created uh, my a user for myself, um, Alexis, and uh, my administrator account, which is Hackersploit. And uh, you then have your activity section, which is basically what everyone else is doing. You have the blog section where I'll be making posts and giving you guys news and resources uh, just on a daily basis. So this will be updated on a daily basis. In the members section, this again is pretty self-explanatory. These are the members that are currently online and are created. As you can see, last active, you can new, newly uh, newest registered, you can search for members. So maybe if you if you sign up with your friend, that's there. You then have groups, uh, which you guys I want. The reason I did this is because uh, there'll be a lot of questions or topics that you might want to discuss. And um, yeah, th this is a good place to start. So that's basically um, that's basically it with the website. You can check it out. The link will be in the description. Go sign up and start posting stuff. And uh, hopefully this will make our interaction even better. Now. Uh, let's get all of that aside and let's get to the topic of this video. I know we're al already a long way in the video. We're four minutes in already. So let's begin. Uh, we are talking about steganography. Now, what is steganography? This, you might be asking yourself, well, how is it related to ethical hacking? Well, uh, steganography is basically the practice of concealing a file, uh, concealing a file, message, image, or, or a video within another uh, image or video. So basically, the hidden message, uh, the hidden message will be part of something else, like an image. So in essence, steganography is the art of concealing a message or a file within an image. Now, how are we going to do this? You might be asking. Well, there is something really, really cool I discovered. Uh, I've been really, really looking into cryptography and steganography in the past in the past uh, few months, and um, I'm actually um, I've learned a lot, and I want to share it with you. So basically. 
what you want to go and search for is you want to search for steg uh stego suite stego suite i believe is the correct there we are so basically stego suite is a free steganography tool all right so you want to go to the first link it's stegosuite.org and just click on it hopefully the website opens up sorry if my internet is slightly slow basically it's a free and open source steganography tool written in java you can hide information in image files so it works on linux and windows um, for this video i'm going to be demonstrating it on windows because it's pretty much the same thing you just run it and a, a graphical user interface uh, just pops up so it's not actually in command line you do it with a graphical image user interface so just click on it and download it it's a small file about two megabytes and once you're done it's gonna basically be on your desktop if you're running windows and you have java installed by the way if you're on windows make sure you have java installed that's just something that i forgot to tell you the java runtime environment and you should see that it gives you this nice little coffee cup um, logo which is the logo of java so just double click it and it's going to open up stego suite and it's pretty simple as i said very very easy so now you basically um just have to open an image now the reason you saw me on the other website at the beginning is uh, basically i was at on a website called pixabay i'm not sponsored by pixabay this is just a very very good website where you can get uh, royalty free images uh, for your projects and you don't have to pay for them they are copyright free in a, and are under creative commons so you can find an image here that that let's say you want to um, you want to use for this process you can select any i already have this one right here downloaded so you can go ahead and just hit download and select the resolution and just hit download so i already have it downloaded so what i'm going to do is just say file open and it's in my download section as you can see that's the file currently it has it has not been steganographed i don't know if that's a word so just open it and uh, it's going to say enter your secret message now i can't believe how awesome this is you can literally communicate with images so let's say you're on facebook you can literally be chatting with your friend sending images but no one knows that they actually contain messages how awesome is that now let me just show you this so uh, let's say i say um uh, let's say hello uh, we can say the steam summer sale is awesome all right pretty random stuff you can then enter a password which is unique so i'm just going to enter test uh let's just call it test and we can then embed all right and it's going to start saying embedding data and it's going to say it's done so now once it's done it's going to give you this right here and you might be saying well how come it's not opening whoops let me try and open that with um with an image viewer photos hopefully it opens up and as you can see it's the image still works but it's in a different format so it's going to be in a different format an image format so you have the image right here you can rename it let's say just call it humming bird now what this basically will make sense doing um all right sorry so we have to actually just close this and then we can rename it to oh we did there's no need of renaming it so let's delete the original one and this is the image with the message right so now if you are sending images with encrypted basically steganographied images uh to your friend he would basically have to download the stego suite all right so once you have stego suite open now let's say we wanted to extract the message so i say open and we go to the desktop and we select this one right here the image that we uh we basically uh we basically embedded a message in now let's enter our, our password let's say test and if we extract it uh there we are hello the steam summer sale is awesome so as you can see this is just unbelievable to me because you're basically hiding i mean to to a normal person you could literally people could be posting images on facebook that contain messages and that's pretty pretty awesome i've got to say so that's basically it for this video guys all the links will be in the description to all the resources that i've used in this video um awesome awesome stuff you guys should definitely experiment and hopefully maybe you guys could post some of your images on on the on the website the finer coder website and maybe i'll go through them and see what hidden messages you've left for me so go ahead and do that and just basically enjoy
all right thank you so much for watching guys if this video um it helped you or you liked it please leave a like down below uh, if you're new here please subscribe to the channel if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section you can hit me up on kick you can hit me up on my social networks you can also contact me on the website now so there's a plethora of means in which you can contact me so thank you so much guys for this um it's been unbelievable with you guys and have a fantastic day